Hello, drone community. This is Alan at UAV Coach and Drone Pilot Ground School, and welcome to our Drone Weekly News Roundup. Each week, we go through the drone industry's top stories. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to stay notified when new videos are released. This week, we have four stories to dive into. First, we have a company that has developed a water sampling system using drones to help cities cut their water sample costs. It's a really cool application of drones. We'll talk about the FAA issuing the first ever national approval for remotely operated dock-based operations. Uh, it's a big win for BNSF Railway. We'll also show you a video of a man flying in a, wait for it, jet suit shot by a Skydio drone. And finally, we'll cover gender neutral language and the FAA Drone Advisory Committee's recent recommendations. All right, let's jump in. First up this week, when cities test their water for contamination, it can be expensive, time consuming, and labor intensive. Just to give you an idea, the New York City Department of Environmental Protection captures about 14,000 samples each year, where each sample ends up costing about $100 per sample. So there's a company, uh, Rainmaker, and they have developed this product called Nixie. And Nixie is a drone mounted water sampling data and collection system it's a mouthful, uh, that can be attached to the bottom of a DJI M600 or M300 RTK drone. And Nixie has been shown to cut down the cost of collecting water samples by as much as 90%, while also increasing sample rates by 75%. I love this use case. It's a super niche product and I'm rooting for, uh, for Nixie. Next up, the FAA has issued the first ever national approval for remotely operated dock-based drone operations. The approval was given to BNSF Railway and allows the company to use Skydio drones for remote infrastructure inspection, patrol, and training missions. It's a really big deal. Uh, BNSF Railway was an early and ongoing partner with the FAA for testing BD loss or beyond visual line of sight through the Pathfinder program. This was the first program that the FAA launched to test drone operations sort of outside the Part 107 rules. Tipping our hats to the FAA, to BNSF Railway, and to Skydio for pushing the U.S. drone industry forward with this approval. Our next story is pretty crazy. When I was a kid, I remember this movie called The Rocketeer. Uh, it's a man, there's a jet suit, it's very exciting. Little did I know that jetpacks would be a reality in my lifetime. Yes, you heard that right. And check this out. Here is a video shot by a Skydio drone flying in follow me mode. Uh, the video was shared recently on Twitter by Gravity, a British company focused on aeronautical innovation whose mission is to reimagine human flight and to inspire a generation to dare ask what if. While the jetpack technology itself is very cool, uh, this video also displays the impressive autonomy of Skydio's drones. Uh, so really cool, uh, cool shots there, beautiful. Our last story is that the FAA's Drone Advisory Committee, or DAC, recently approved four recommendations for the adoption of gender-neutral language when referring to drones. That is language that would get away from the use of unmanned as an example and use more neutral terminology like unpiloted instead. So here are the four recommendations. Number one, adopting gender inclusive language wherever possible. Number two, implementing this language via standardized style guide. Number three, applying this style guide and language effectively. And number four, transforming communication for the broader aviation industry. Now the thinking behind these changes is pretty simple. Language matters, particularly when it comes to adoption and inclusivity in the drone industry. Uh, women currently make up less than 10% of FAA registered drone pilots here in the US, but intentional outreach, uh, including changes to the language the drone industry uses, could change that over time. All right, folks, that's all we have for this week. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on the latest drone industry news. We'll also be adding links below uh, to each article so you can read more. Thanks for watching, and to all of you drone pilots out there, blue skies and safe flying. We'll see you next week.